What day is it? Is it Thursday? Happy Thursday, everybody. Jason Nanton, Zeal, uh, athlete ambassador, coming to you live from beautiful Golden, Colorado. Unlike my home workout yesterday or last week, it's not snowing and it's beautiful out. So I'm pretty excited to ditch the tights, ditch the sweatshirt, and uh, get my sweat on in my beautiful backyard, which uh, clearly mowing the lawn is not part of my home workout routine. Um, my wife, my, uh, my compadre and all this uh, is helping me film. There she is. Say hi, Jenny. Uh, hi. Jenny's probably gonna do this workout later if she hasn't already done the Alpine Training Center workout yet. But yeah, a, a quick bit about me. I've been working with uh, the team at Zeal for a long time. What an awesome crew. Um, I've known them through various professional capacities, but me personally, I work as a technical climbing guide and a mountain performance coach. So I work with various different guiding outfitters around uh, Colorado, and uh, I've been coaching at the Alpine Training Center for about a decade. And so my personal passions include playing in the mountains. So primarily I'm a climber, but I love blurring the lines be between endurance and technical mountain skills. So we're home today. Again, I don't know what day of quarantine this is, but it's, uh, it's been a while. It's been a minute, but it feels good to just get outside, keep moving. Uh, I was in a little bit of a rut early on, just not eating well, not working out regularly, but I've gotten into a good groove getting outside for at least, at least an hour every single day and get a sweat on. So thank you for joining me and thank you for working out with me. So here's how today's workout's going to go. We're going to start with a warm up. This warm up's going to be five minutes. Five minutes dealer's choice. Dealer's choice means, I don't know about you, but I'd almost rather run around, run around my block a few times than uh, get on a treadmill or get on a bike. But if you have those tools and you have them at your disposal, get after it. Our warm-ups can be five minutes, dealer's choice. The only goal there is that you get your heart rate up, you get your lungs going, and you get your body moving. Our workout's gonna take about 45 minutes. Once uh, we've completed it, I'm going to talk you through every little, every little detail, but you'll be able to save this, visit the Zeal uh, Facebook or Instagram page, take this workout, and you can replicate this on your own. It's a good full body workout geared towards mountain endurance and mobility, so feel free to do this two or three times a week until they let the reins loose and let us back up into the mountains. Um, after we're done with our five-minute workout or five-minute warm-up, we're gonna jump into a mobility circuit. I'm gonna show you some of my favorite mobility drills. I'm gonna show you hip mobility and overhead squat mobility. Those of you at the Alpine Training Center are very familiar with those, but I'll take my time and walk you through each one. Then we're gonna embark on three blocks, three six minute AMRAP. The acronym or the, uh, yeah, the, uh, the AMRAP stands for as many reps around as possible. So you're gonna start a clock for six minutes and you're gonna go through a series of exercises for six minutes as many times as you can until the buzzer drops. When you're done, we're gonna take two minutes of rest, grab a drink of water, work through some mobility, and then we're gonna go on to another one and then finally a third. So our workout today is gonna to be a warm up, three six minute AMRAP blocks, and then finally a core uh, circuit to finish us off before we move on with the rest of our day. I'm already in the sun. I'm already starting to feel good. As far as exercise materials, if those of you at home need a minute to get some uh, tools for our, our workout here, you don't need much. Uh, I'm gonna use the grass. I'm excited to, to get down and dirty, get a little dirty, get a little, uh, I don't know, feel being outside today, but feel free to grab a yoga mat or a sleeping pad, something to shelter you from the elements. Or if you're on a hard surface at home and you don't wanna be laying on hardwood, feel free to grab some sort of a mat. You're also gonna need a weighted pack. You know, I've had some friends here uh, reach out to me from, from my last work and say, Jay, I really like how you're incorporating that pack because it allows me to integrate a tool into training that I have a good relationship with when I'm out in the mountains. So, you know, I, I, after hearing that, it makes total sense. So grab your favorite backpack that's joined you on many a mountain adventure, fill it with some weight. I recommend 10 to 50 pounds, depending on how much you want to get after today. I haven't loaded mine up too heavy. I have four climbing ropes in there, so it's going to be about between 30 and 40 pounds. Um, you're also going to need, you don't need this. I'll show you some modifications, but if you have some sort of a ring set up, you see over here, I've just hung some rings. Uh, these are going to be great if you have some cord, some webbing, anything to do some suspended holds on. And then, of course, I thought this would be the easiest thing, but I couldn't really find a good thing to do a pull up on in my backyard. So we are gonna need some sort of a way to do a pull up. I just grabbed my ice tools up here and I'm gonna be using those for my pull ups. 
And that's pretty much it. So a backpack, some sort of suspended straps, excuse me, and some sort of way to do a pull-up. I'm going to hand my phone over to my beautiful wife who, just so you know, we've got a three-and-a-half-year-old baby daughter, Avery, and a three-and-a-half-week-old baby daughter, Andorra, and both of them are perfectly asleep right now, just working on their nap. So cross your fingers that they give us 45 minutes of, uh, of, uh, of sweating out here in the backyard before they wake up. So let's get after it. I'm going to keep talking for a minute. Let's start our five-minute clock right now and get a warm-up in. For those of you who are standing there in your living room like, Jason, what the heck am I supposed to do? I like step-ups. So I've got a step here, and I'm just going to move for five minutes until, it's, until it says 111 uh, Mountain Standard Time. We're going to move. I'm going to keep talking at you because I'm a little jacked up from getting prepared. So my heart's already going. My lungs are already working. But I want you to take five minutes right now and get warmed up. If you need some other suggestions, feel free to run around your block. If you need to jump rope, that's a great option. You can just walk up and down your stairs. Do something that's gonna get your body warm. Jumping jacks, mountain climbers. Do a quick core circuit you know about that you like. Get your body warm, and at 111, we'll get going. So, a little bit more about me. Again, been working with the Zeal folks for a while. Uh, fantastic crew based in Boulder, Colorado. Um, I always like working with mountain-minded people, and uh, they've been really supportive to, to bring me into the mix and give me an opportunity to connect with you all while we're, we're in this isolated time. So thank you for joining me, and thanks to Zeal for giving me an opportunity to chat with you. Um, we're going to see how, how long I can keep this jacket on before I start really sweating. I've got a cotton tee underneath, so not sure uh, not sure if it's, that's going to be the most effective workout piece of gear today, but we'll see. Sun shining a little bit to get to show off my sunnies, which is good. And yeah, so the idea here is just get a casual warm up in. As you're moving, I'm stepping up as if you haven't already uh, figured that out at home and hopefully I'm not making you too sick. Just get your heart rate up. I don't care what it is. Move around, jumping jacks, run in place, high knees, walk up your stairs, ride a bike, walk around the block. But at 111, we'll move into the mobility circuit. And by my count, that's three minutes away. <clears throat> So another thing is, guys, I'd love to hear what's going on in your life. Why are you inspired to work out with me? Maybe you just stumbled upon it. Either way, ask some questions. My wife Jenny's here to help out and watch me uh, scream and shout in my backyard as my neighbors look on awkwardly. So please feel free to fire questions my way about working out, routine, diet, climbing, training, having two little girls and a, and a wife and trying to trying to get out there at the same time, feel free to fire questions my way. So I'm gonna hand my phone over to my wife who's gonna just heckle me from, from the house and let's keep this thing going. So I'm just gonna move, like I said, move the bod, get the lungs working, see if my neighbor Dan will get excited and start working out with me from his garage. Neighbor Dan's a pretty badass dude. Great cyclist, great climber, lifelong firefighter. He said he's looking on awkwardly. <laughs> <laughs> Any other neighbors wanna chime in? It's another time to connect before eight o'clock and we all howl at the moon again. When you're doing step ups, I'm not giving you a very good example right now because I'm, I'm yapping and moving. Try to alternate if you choose to follow and do what I'm doing. That way you work your legs and your butt equally. We've got, let's say, 30 seconds of warm-up. <sighs> I'm going to ask. All right, guys, let's call it there. Shake it out. Walk it out. Jenny, hmm. there's a piece of climbing word, uh, rope inside my office. Would you please hand that to me? So one piece of equipment that I, I didn't rec mention is we're gonna do uh, shoulder dislocates. It's the one just past that, the blue on the short cord. We're gonna do shoulder openers or shoulder dislocates. A phenomenal exercise to get your shoulders warmed up, regardless of what activity you're passionate about in the outdoors. A lot of you, I'm sure, are climbers. So typically I use a PVC pipe for this one, but all you need is a piece of cord, something to create tension in your arms. So here we go. Let's get into mobility, send the phone back over. So we're gonna go through this mobility circuit 
one time. And if you, if you all out there can't see me, please drop a comment in the question box and I'll adjust accordingly. We're making do with what we have here, which is my, my backyard. So mobility circuit's gonna be mountain mobility. To do mountain mobility, it's three stretches and it's mostly focused on your lower body torso and legs. So it's three stretches. The first one, you're gonna step into a runner's lunge and you're gonna drive your hips forward into your up leg. My, my right leg's up first, so I'm starting with my right side. I'm gonna hold it here for five seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. That's one of three. The next one, I'm gonna put my hand down, twist into my up leg and reach to the sky, twist my torso for five seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. The last stretch, I'm gonna rock it back, straighten my front leg, bring my toes to my shin, I'm gonna stretch my hammies. This is the third of the three exercises. Hold it for five count. Now we've only done half our body here, so I'm gonna do a 180 and work the other side. So you can see, and I can still talk to you, I'm just gonna do it this way. Again, runner's lunge, I'm driving my hips into my heel. Three, two, one. Plant the hand and reach. Five, four, three, two, one. Rock it back, stretch the hammy. We call this mountain mobility at the Alpine Training Center. Remember it, because after each one of these six minute AMRAP blocks, I'm gonna ask you to go through the mountain mobility circuit one time as you catch your breath. All right, folks, next up, shoulder openers. This is why I asked Jenny to grab me a rope. This can be a broomstick, uh, it can be a stick. Uh, at, the, at the gym, we have just PVC pipes. I just need you to find something to create a little bit of tension between your arms. So again, I'm just holding a, a length of cord wider than shoulder width, but not quite arms width. And again, I'm gonna start in front, go to the back. We're gonna do 10 shoulder openers, or shoulder dislocates, or as many as you'd like, but do at least 10 for me. Four, and the tighter you make your grip, the more of a stretch you'll feel in your shoulder. Just a couple more, tighten it up a little bit. And again, you can use anything for this, a belt. Okay, hip mobility, one of my faves. Learned this as a college football player, been doing it ever since, and that was almost 15 years ago. To do the hip mobility drill, by the way, not only is it good for football players, it's phenomenal for trail runners or any sort of mountain athlete that spends a lot of time on their feet. For the hip mobility circuit, you start in the tabletop position. Tabletop being hands and knees. The goal here is to keep your arms straight. I'm gonna go into my fists so I can get above these blocks a little bit and see you. And we're gonna go through the entire thing once, so 10 reps. The first exercise, a straight leg out to the side. I'm gonna lift my foot to the sky as high as I can, 10 reps. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10. Now I'm gonna bring it behind me. My leg is straight behind me. Same thing, heel to the sky, 10 reps. The next one up is the mule kick. Remember my knee to my chest and kick my foot out behind me like a scorpion's tail. 10 reps. Knee to chest, out behind me. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10. Now we have the bent leg to the side or aptly named the hydrant because your leg's bent at 90 and you're gonna lift your leg to the sky as high as you can like you're peeing on a hydrant. 10, nine, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Now with this bent leg, we're gonna do these next two pretty quick in succession. 10 circles forward, 10 circles backwards, like this. Then reverse it. Okay, that's all the exercise to one side. Now let's hit lefty over here. And again, I would definitely write this one down. If you're a trail runner, a hiker, a climber, a skier, this thing's only gonna help you in the long run. Leg to side for 10. Quads a little tight. Leg behind you for 10. Mule kick for 10.
Hydrants for 10. <sighs> 10 circles forward. Ten circles backwards. Boom, that's hip mobility. Next up, we're gonna do 10 more shoulder openers. Grab that tool you've used, 10 of these. Nice, all right, next one, next mobility drill. One of my favorites, I developed this about a year ago to help with overhead squatting, but it really works with your body mechanics when it comes to lower back and shoulders. So the first thing you do is you're gonna get into a catcher's squat. So you get nice and low. Squat down onto your heels and hold it here. We call this the third world stretch. Your weight's on your feet, on your heels, and you're sinking down as low as you can. Once you're here, open up your hips, loosen things up. You wanna, the goal here is to loosen up your hips. Now loosen up your lower back, take a deep breath, try to loosen up your shoulders, and just relax into it, as if you're a catcher. Any of you have played, ever played baseball, softball? Not a common position we get in, but try to get as low as you can onto your heels. From here, this is where it gets hard, you gotta pick a hand, start with your right. Stick it in front of you, straight elbow, thumb up, and drive it to the back of your room, or your yard, wherever you are, your garage, and hold it up here. The goal is not to let it fall forward when you squat. So hold it here and drive it back for five, four, three, two, one. Now we're gonna do those squats. We're gonna do five squats all the way up, all the way down, focusing on keeping our chest proud and that hand up the entire time. Come back down to home base here, shake it out again, loosen up the hips, loosen up your back. Hopefully that feels good. Switch hands. So again, this is two phases. One is driving your thumb back for five seconds and then five squats. Five, four, three, two, one. Maintain that up arm, drive it back, five squats. Three, three. Now I realize this is probably challenging for a lot of you and for some it might come really easy. For a lot of folks, this is really challenging the first time, so don't be frustrated if you're having trouble keeping that high posture. Last one, both arms. Same thing, low catcher squat. And again, if your knees are giving you trouble, just go as low as you feel comfortable. Work on your own mobility, but if there's a lot of pain here, back off the gas and stand up a little bit. Both arms, five, four, three, two, one, five squats. One, two, Three, four, five. Okay, 10 more shoulder openers, mountain mobility, and that concludes our warm up. So 10 of these. And again, shorten the grip for a bigger stretch. Okay, and the last thing in our warm up is gonna be the mountain mobility. If you remember it, dive right in, but I'm here to coach you through it. So, one knee down, one foot forward. My quad's still a little tight. I'm just driving my hip to my front heel. Hold for as long as you want. I'm gonna coach you through about a five count. So three, two, one. Hand down, twist into the upper arm, reach. Five, four, three, two, one. One, rock it back, work on the hammy. Rock your toe back to your shin. Three, two, one, reverse direction. Three, two, one, rock it back. Three, two, one. All right, meat and potatoes of this workout. These six minute AMRAPs. I'm starting to sweat. I hope you at home are as well. So this first block of work, and again, we've got three six minute blocks. 
separated by a good two minute rest, that's time for you to catch your breath and grab a drink of water. So keep that in mind, three of these. First one, we've got good old fashioned push-ups. So keep in mind, I'm gonna give you a prescribed rep count. Show what I've written up here real quick. Six minute AMRAP, we're doing 10 push-ups, 12 front squats with your backpack, 20 flutter kicks total with your back on the ground, eight rows, so bent over rows with your pack, 10 half moons with your pack, and then a rest. So we're gonna go through those workouts in that order. 10 push-ups, 12 front squats, 20 flutter kicks, eight rows, 10 half moons, and then repeat. And go through and go through and go through until the buzzer stops. I will start us off and I'll stop us and we'll get right into that two minute rest. I will demonstrate each exercise slowly, but I will start the clock as I do it. All right, so give me one second, stand by here. All right, gang, first up is 10 push-ups. So six minutes on the clock here. All right, so just 10 push-ups is the first one. So go ahead and do 10 push-ups. If you need to modify, go down to your knees. Okay, that's one exercise. The next one up is gonna be these front squats. Let's go ahead and grab your backpack. I'm gonna demonstrate it with an underhook grip. Hold your pack in front of you. You're doing 12 squats. That was 12. Next up is flutter kicks. We're doing 20 of these suckers. Find a spot in the ground. You're like all the way down. Elevate your feet. Hands on the ground. And we're doing 20 total. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10, onto the pack row. So for this one, helps if you have some handles. If you wanna work your grip, if you're a climber, just grab fabric and hold on, but it also helps to grab the side straps. <clears throat> so to do the row, I'm gonna show you before I cloud, make things foggy with weight. Start standing, bend over at the waist, your back is flat. I'm gonna row my pack straight up. And for this one, we're doing eight of these. Adjust your weight appropriately. If it's too heavy, drop weight. If you want a bigger challenge, add more weight. By my count, we only have four minutes left. So again, I'm rowing for eight reps. All the way up, all the way down. That's eight. Now again, try not to stand up as you're doing the motion. Try to keep your back flat and just row. Next up, the half moons. These are a crux. The starting position is from your knees, okay? You can actually bring your hips forward and stay upright. You also need your pack for this one. Doing 10 total, five each side. I'm gonna grab the straps or anywhere. I'm gonna lift it up and over and down the other side. That's one. We've got nine more. The goal here, to drive straight up and over your head, full extension, bring it down. Try not to bring it in front of you. You want to use a lot of that lateral torsion to get that weight up and over. Okay, that's one complete round. On my clock, we've got two minutes left. I'm gonna walk you through the drills. How much time do you have, Jenny? Like two and three quarters. Two and three quarters. <laughs> so keep going. Again, exercises are gonna be push-ups, front squats, flutter kicks, pack row, half moon, if you wanna do them with me, let's rock and roll. So push-ups next. The goal here, as many rounds as you can in the next three minutes. So 10 push-ups.
Moving on, we'll get those front squats. 12, doing 12 of these at your own pace. Flutter kicks. <clears throat> if you're racing, how do you have rows next? Eight rows after. Eight pack rows. Remember, back flat, head up. moons 10 10 total five each side okay how much time uh 45 seconds 45 seconds 10 push up guys Ten seconds. Ten seconds, here we go. Three, two, time. Two minutes on the clock, guys. Grab a drink if you need it. If you're ready to rock on more, mountain mobility. <clears throat> so catch your breath here. Hips to your heel, about five seconds or longer. You can hold it for 30 if you want now. <clears throat> Focus on getting that heart rate down. How's everybody doing out there? Any questions? Feeling good? Feeling warm? So now you guys are getting the hang of things. We got another minute at rest, but now you know the flow. So it's a six minute workout here. I'm gonna show you the exercises. So if you feel like, Jay, you're going too slow, man. Pick it up, I wanna get my money's worth here. Then you can go for it. So I'm gonna show you the workout uh, when, right before we start. Go ahead and write it down or take a screenshot, whatever you have. I will coach you through it just like I did last time. But if you feel like you wanna go faster, you wanna go harder than, than I am while I'm demonstrating, power to you. Six minutes all out. Here's what we're getting into. So if you guys can see that, another six minute AMRAP. We got 10 bird dogs with your right arm leading. 10 plank walk-ups total, five each direction. 10 bird dogs, left arm leading. Six weighted sit-ups with your pack. If you can't do them with your pack, just do weighted sit-ups. In a mini, the dreaded mini leg blaster. Another ATC classic workout. Also learned this one from Mountain Athlete based out in Jackson Hole. It's 10 squats, 10 total lunges, 10 jumping lunges, five squat jumps. That's a leg blaster. I've lost my, my beautiful camera girl. So I'm gonna continue to do this just like everybody else does, selfie style. So, six minutes, ready? Set, go with the bird dog. And I picked the, uh, the most challenging one for bird dog. Tabletop position. Doing 10 with your right arm first, 
left arm. You're gonna bring knee to elbow, extend. 10 of those, extend. Those are bird dogs leading with the right side. Just know in our next set, we're gonna switch. So now we're doing plank walk-ups. Five each direction, 10 total. Start in the high plank, leading with my right, drop on my right forearm, left, back up. One, two, three, one, two, three, four, Five. Now back to bird dogs, just this time leading with your left arm. So again, tabletop position, left arm out, right arm back, knee to elbow, extend. Eight, nine, ten. So we got the bird dogs, we've got the walk ups, now it's time for weighted sit ups. So again, sit up any style, all the way down, all the way up. You're doing six of them. If you can do them with your pack, do them with your pack. Again, this can be a tricky one for finding good handles. I like to use my top strap here, sit you down. Weighted sit-ups, a little bit of a cruxy exercise. Really favors folks with strong shoulders. So you lay down with your shoulders overhead, drive to the sky as you sit up. I know, I know guys, clock's ticking, clock's ticking. All right, feel free to do your sit-ups at your own pace. You got six of them. All the way down, all the way up. Sit-ups are done. Now it's time for leg blasters. Leg blasters. Is my little baby up? <laughs> Tense, where is she? <laughs> Ten squats, all the way up. Hey, you want to work out with me? Come on out. No. <laughs> That's 10 alternating lunges. When you lunge, step forward and don't think about lunging forward, but drop your back into the ground. These are totals. That's three. All right, guys. Halfway. Jumping lunges. Last one, only five, not 10, five squat jumps. All the way down, air it out. One round, back to the top. Jenny, how are you for time? Two and a half minutes. Two and a half minutes left. Bird dogs, right arm first. We did that one my workout. We did. Plank walk up, remember, five each direction. We Starting did. from the high plank, well, we did. We dropping did. down. Switch directions at five. Bird dogs, opposite arm, right leg back, left arm up, knee to elbow, extend. Next up, we've got sit-ups, six of these suckers.
And I think if we're real lucky, we'll squeeze in a whole set of leg blasters. 10 squats. <sighs> 10 lunges. Ten seconds. Ten seconds. Get as many jumping lunges in as you can. Ten seconds. Three, Ten. two, one. <laughs> Woo! Two minute rest. <laughs> Want to work out? Have anything to say, say to anybody? You see, those weighted sit-ups are brutal. So two minutes, you know the drill. Grab a drink, stretch it out, throw in one mobility. So again, again, two minutes on the clock here. We'll start at 140-ish. Twist and reach. Straighten it out, work your hammy. This next one's a killer, folks. But it's our last one. Last hard six minute block and then we've got six minute abs. Not seven minute abs, six minute abs. Okay, about another minute of rest. Jenny, I think I can handle this. Yeah. yeah. Thanks for your help. Hey, Bug, you wanna work out or are you good? These guys have one more set before, uh, before core time. All right, everybody at home, you are doing fantastic. I'm having a good time. You know, I'm mostly because the sun's out and I really like the sun. Got to step away from my laptop for a little bit. Feels good to be with you. Feels good to be sweating. Feels good to be working out. Last one. All right, let me talk you through it. Let's go look at it. I'm, I'm a visual learner. <coughs> All right, team, again, six minute AMRAP. Hope you like my penmanship. 10 thrusters, what? With your pack. That's a full squat, full press. I will demonstrate. That's probably the, the power crux of the whole workout is a thruster. All the way down, full squat to full press. 20 bicycles, good old fashioned core blast bicycles. Elbow to knee, elbow to knee, 20 reps total. Eight pull-ups. If you need to modify, modify. If you need to do uh, uh, negatives, do negatives. Negatives meaning you jump up, lower yourself down. It's kind of a lot. So I'm just gonna do mine on the, on the ice tools, ice axes hanging on my deck. Then we've got, uh, after those eight pull-ups, doing 10 second one-arm plank. If you have those, those fancy rings, that's where you're gonna be doing the suspended one-arm plank on. So you're just holding yourself. And again, just like the last two, I'll demo for you. If you don't have those fancy rings, just do it on the ground. You're basically holding that push-up position on one arm. Then you're gonna do the other arm. So 10 seconds, just count in your head. I'll count for you. Um, 10 left, 10 right, or 10 right, 10 left. And then pikes. These are a little tricky. These are something you definitely, it's nice to have the rings for. Um, if you have a foam roller, if you have a medicine ball, uh, that's great. Um, just another way to kind of replicate the movement without the fancy equipment, but I'll, sh I'll show you those methods. Well, I think it's party time. So six minutes starts right now. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna pick up your backpack. Let's see if I can get my phone. Get it right there. Perfect. This is the total butt kicker, folks. You're gonna hold this with your arms. We're doing 10 of these. Oh, why did I program 10? Uh, a grip is important on this one because this thing's gonna get unwieldy. Hold it high. And then we're gonna go all the way down to a low squat and all the way up to a press. Notice the press is full extension.
Those are one of the hardest exercises we'll do today. Stay tough. I promise you they'll be over before you know it. 20 bicycles. Laying on the ground. All the way down. Let's see if I can get you in this selfie frame. One leg out. One leg in. Elbow to knee. Opposites. Switch. We're doing 20 total. 10 each side. Time for pull-ups, friends. So again, pull-ups for range of motion. I'm thinking of the best way to video this. A little tricky. Eight pull-ups. Then we're going to the one-arm plank. So I'm grabbing my rings. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Switching arms so we can get a better vantage point here for you folks. Just one arm. Put it on core and shoulders. The lower you go to the ground, the harder this is. Three, two, one. All right. Oh man, it's pike time. Pikes are tricky. You're gonna put your feet in the rings. Okay. okay. Yeah, sure. Our dishwasher uh, broke recently. It's being delivered right now, so mind the, uh, the maintenance going on. You throw your feet in the rings. Extend your arms out in front of you. I'm going to get this going for you folks. Sorry, I know this is a crux you wanted to film. Okay, so my feet are in the rings. Check. Hands are going to be elevated. And we're doing eight of these suckers. But when I say eight, and I'll show you a different view later, you're bringing your knees to your chest and your butt to the sky. Arms are up, knee up, head in, extend. Let's see if I can get a different angle, folks at home. I got four more, if you know what you're doing. Keep jamming. All right, folks, it's one round. By my count, we've got a little less than two minutes. Let's keep going, another round. Kick things off with thrusters. Remember, this is our last big block, so work hard here. <clears throat> 10. Next up, bicycles. <clears throat> Knee to elbow. Twenty. I lost count. Next up, pull-ups. Got forty-five seconds. One arm ring, 10 seconds, let's finish the round. Three, two, one, switch. 10 seconds, focus on the shoulder, core. 
hard to breathe here. Three, two, one, eight pikes. Remember, feet in the rings. And that's time, 27 seconds over. Sorry about that, but thanks for sticking with me. All right, two minute rest. One last core block, setting you free. So, grab a drink, run to the bathroom, catch a breather, and now what I'd recommend is do one set of that mountain mobility, just get your heart rate down. Hey, how are you? Doing well. These guys are getting their own workout in, lifting a dishwasher in my house right now. These guys are crushing it. You guys want to work out? Are you already doing a workout up there? <laughs> We're already working out, man. <laughs> Looks Every like it. Wash your bar yourself is not easy. No, man. not at all. <laughs> nice work. Thanks for doing that. Yes, sir. All right, team. Almost done with this cool down. What are you guys wearing for sunglasses? Huh? You ever heard of Zeal Optics? No. We're doing a workout with the whole Zeal Optics sunglass community out here right now. Oh, good. These guys got to get some Zeals. <laughs> All right, team, last thing, it's just two rounds of this core block. It's a good one. Again, we'll make sure that each and every one of you out there, you want to see this workout, use it for future use. Make sure you have access to it. All right, our core circuit. The last thing. Uh, core circuit, two rounds. Core balance, another one I learned playing college football. I'll demonstrate. It's really fun watching 350 uh, pound linemen do this one. We're gonna hold this core balance position for 30 seconds. Then we're gonna to touch our heels doing crunches for 30. 30 seconds side to side, 30 seconds flutter. Do the cobra stretch, mix it up. Do it all again one more time. All right, let's see if I can get a good view for you guys. All right, I hope the phone doesn't fall over. So. First off, before we begin this last block of core, thanks for joining everybody. I'm having a great time working out my, myself, but I don't feel like I'm alone. I feel like you're with me and that's pretty cool. So I think it's pretty neat that uh, the Zeal and a lot of the other brands and companies and communities are doing these virtual get togethers because it feels good just being with you even though you're just a dot and a few words on the screen. I hope, I hope you're enjoying your Thursday because I, I sure am with you. So core stability, you're sitting up. I know you can't see my feet, so let's see I move them. Feet up, the goal here, is that you're just kind of balancing in this position. Feet are up, you're just holding it. 30 seconds on the clock, we're holding this position. If you wanna make it easier, if you're really struggling, kind of move your feet and don't grab your legs, just move them in. The harder, if you are, you know, you got 10 pack washboard abs, feel free to extend things out a bit. We're just holding this for 30. By my count, we've got 10 seconds left. Okay, the next exercise in three seconds, we're going right into it. We're just crunching to our toes for 30. Ready, go. Just crunching like this. Constant movement, 30 seconds. Halfway. Ten seconds. Next one, side to side for 30. Take your hands, put on one side, going back and forth, 30 seconds. Ready, go. Over halfway. Five. Four, three, two, last one, ready? Holding it for 30. Feet up, just hold it, we get a rest. How's everybody doing? This is hard, right? You feel it. I always thought this one was hard, but it feels so good when you finish it. Halfway. 
10 seconds, we get a break. If you guys are feeling good, extend those legs out. Three, two, one. Everybody relax, flip over. And we're just gonna take a break, about 30 seconds of the cobra stretch. So my lower body, which you can't see very well, is extended. I'm gonna lower my belly, chest to the ground. If you have a bad back, just go onto your elbows. If you feel like you're pretty limber, get good flexibility. Put your hands there. And I like to stick my belly out and stretch out my core muscles right here. Just kind of hold this, get your breath back. Because all we have left is one more of those core circuits. And then we're done. Then you're set free. Enjoy the rest of your beautiful Thursday. <sighs> All right, team, one more of those. It's exactly two minutes of work. Two minutes of work, two minutes with me, and then you're set free to enjoy the rest of this beautiful sunny day. I hope it's sunny where you are. By the way, where's everybody from? Everybody ready? Legs up, 30 seconds. Bob, do you wanna do this with me? Come on over. Yeah. Abe, you want to do core with me? You sure? Five, four, three, two, one. Heel crunches. Can you do it with me? Ten more seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. Side to side, 30 seconds. These are kayakers, if you guys folks are familiar. Ready to go. Over halfway. Less than 10. Five, four, three, two. All right, team, last one. Everything you got, perfect form, squeeze your core. It's the last 30 seconds we have together working out. Ready, set, up. 30 here. I lost track of time. Does anyone know when we're done? 10 seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. Well, Zeal Tribe, that was a lot of fun. Thanks a lot for working out with me. Just to recap what we did, um, started off with a good warm up. Five minutes, dealer's choice. I like to do that because I like to warm up certain ways running around the blocks to get you know, a lot more stoked than riding a stationary bike might be different for you. Just get into a mindset that you're excited to get into a workout with. So five minutes dealer's choice, mobility workout, total chicken scratch. I'll make sure you get a copy of this that you can actually read, but we incorporated hip mobility, uh, mountain mobility, and overhead squat mobility, three of my faves. Six minute AMRAP, push-ups, front squats, flutter kicks, pack row, half moons, and a rest. Block number two, Six minutes, bird dogs, plank walk-ups, bird dogs, weighted sit-ups, leg blaster, the last killer block, thrusters, bicycle, pull-ups, one arm plank each side, finally pikes, and then our core circuit. I'll make sure you all get the workout. Uh, the tools we used today were something to pull up onto, the ground, we use some rings, and then a pack of our choice. Everybody, thanks so much for joining me. Jason Anton, uh, always been glad to be part of the Zeal community. Please give me a, a follow, reach out on uh, Instagram. It's my full name, at Jason Anton. Want to go climbing? You can reach me uh, via different guiding outfitters. I'm at uh, Colorado Mountain School now mostly, and uh, the Alpine Training Center. One, one badass community of people that work out in Boulder, but they've got plenty of online offerings. Check out the Alpine Training Center. Great to hear from you. Enjoy the rest of your Thursday. It's been a blast. See y'all later.